Good morning, you guys. It is 8.40 in the morning, almost 9 o'clock. I am making breakfast, but I got some groceries and I wanted to show you guys. So I got some Lunchables for Becky. These are all the ones that she likes. And then just in case Becky wants something a little extra or I don't necessarily want to make breakfast, I can give her a muffin. We got some blueberry ones and some double chocolate chip. We got some M&M cookies. Becky has already started eating them, if you can tell. We got some cheese. I'm actually using one today for breakfast. Some potatoes, which I also used for breakfast. Some cheese for um, sandwiches. Some bacon, which I've already gotten into because it was for breakfast. I completely forgot to get out the bacon that I had in the freezer, and it wasn't going to thaw in time. So I just picked up another package. We go through bacon, though, super fast, so... I don't mind. We got some grapefruit. I got two three pound bags. I plan on having at least one a day. I've been really into grapefruit, so. And then this is all we have for the 4th of July. It's all we had money for. We got two of these, which came out to three bucks or something close to that. Um, so. I have one, and Becky has one. This is her first time trying them, so I'm excited to do them with her. Um, we got some Pepsi. I've been into Pepsi lately, so I got me just the little cans, just a tin can box. I got some more Country Time Lemonade because I'm down to two. Um, I've also had like a sweet tooth so with drinks so I've been going in between I swap out um, lemonade and voltage so I'll have um, a lemonade and then I'll have a voltage and then maybe a tiki punch but the tiki punch has been really really sweet so I just grab a strawberry lemonade um, we also got a Wild Cherry Pepsi. Riker wanted this one, actually. Um, we are not out of drinks. We're just kind of stocking up. Because um, I put a drink into Riker's lunchbox. So, um, we got two more 24-packs. We still have a 24-pack. We just opened it yesterday. But, just so you guys don't think we're going through drinks like they're water. Um, and then, we got a Cherry Coke as well, which I'm actually excited for. And I believe that's it. Put all the rest of this stuff away, but um, I figured I would do a little haul for you guys. I am making a skillet and It takes me about an hour, an hour and a half to make it. Hi you guys. Happy 4th of July. I am wearing a red, white, and blue shirt. Um, I don't remember where I got it, but it's cute some lace right here um, and then I'm wearing just a simple gold and white necklace and then earrings that go with it and a bracelet and then I'm wearing short shorts at the moment my hair is doing something weird today but that's okay so today is the 4th of July obviously um, 
plus I'm saying happy 4th of July. Um, there are, there is some exciting news coming this week. So, I am, I made a comment in the last vlog saying that, um, I had already purchased the item, um, that I will be showing you guys. Um, there will be pictures going up on my Instagram, um, the day or maybe the day after I receive the package. Um, I will talk about the product on here as well. Um, but I am really, really excited about it. It has already shipped and I should get it the 7th. Um, but I need to take pictures for it first and then, um, a whole bunch of other stuff, but I will get into that later in this vlog, but I am really, really, really excited. I don't want to say too much until I receive the package and I will do an unbox with me. Um, and that's when I will talk about it, but I am really, really excited. No, probably I probably sound annoying, but I'm just again just really excited about it. Um, we're not doing much today, just kind of staying home. Um, we were watching some fireworks last night. Um, had Becky up until almost eleven, <laughs> just watching fireworks. Um, we're gonna watch some more fireworks tonight, just inside of our house. Um, our apartment, and we don't really have money to do anything this year, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. We will make the best of it. I do have some poppets, and we are going to do those later today, just during the day. Um, it's Becky's first time doing poppets, so I might um, catch some pictures or maybe a little video snippet of her playing with them. My contacts are bothering me. Sorry. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what it is all day, but my vision in this one eye just keeps going blurry, so. That's okay. Yesterday was a really hard you guys follow me on Instagram or if you don't please do I will have the user the name right here and I will have a link down below so you can subscribe I mean so you can follow me <laughs> um, subscribe to though if you're not um, yesterday was a really hard day for me so, I, there, my family's Mormon, and they, they don't, um, when the 4th of July falls on a Sunday, they do their 4th of July barbecue slash picnic on the 3rd. Um, because you're not allowed to do anything on Sunday because it's the Lord's Day. Um, and since today is a Sunday, they did their 4th of July party yesterday. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen this post. And I made four different posts with the same pictures. I told my parents, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can go follow me and go look at those. Um, if you don't want to follow me, that's okay. Um, here 
I'll just do a quick recap of what happened yesterday. My husband was off or was supposed to be off yesterday. He went in for a few hours just to work a half day. Um, I told my parents two weeks ago that I wasn't going to the 4th of July party with my stepdad's side of the family. I have gone to every family thing before I got pregnant and after I got pregnant up until Becky was a year and two months. So up until she was 26 months. I stopped going less and less because of the way I would get treated, the way I would get looked at. I would get whispered about and it was obvious because they'd go, they'd be talking to someone and they'd be like, that's what they do. So it was obvious. They would point at me, they'd look at me, and then they'd just go back to whispering. My daughter also, because she hit toddler stage, she had started throwing tantrums. She didn't want to go anywhere. She didn't want to go to anyone, which made it seem like I didn't want her to be around any one of my family members. If I tried to get her to go play and go hang out with some other people, I got looked at and people would make comments like I didn't want my daughter around me, like I didn't want her. I got glared at, still do, every time I go. I would get begged and begged to go after we stopped going because people want to see my daughter, but they don't want to hang out with her. They don't want to be around her because she's constantly throwing tantrums. The food that was provided, she would eat at least half of those items here at home, but anytime we went to their parties, she would refuse to eat, which she'd tell me she's hungry, she's hungry. So I'd be like, okay, what do you want? Like, do you want this? Do you want this? And I'd try to get her to eat some food, and she would just tell me no at everything, which made it look like I don't feed my kid. But I do. She eats everything right now. Not only that, but because I would get begged and begged to go, I would be kind of annoyed. But I would put on a face for my family just to be like, yeah, I'm here, hi, you know. And nobody would talk to me. I, If I were to go and talk to someone, they would ignore me and walk away and act like I wasn't there. Which made it even harder for me wanting to go. I didn't want to go at that point. Because what's the point? No one wants to talk to me. No one wants me there. I get looked like I'm a bad mom because my toddler is constantly throwing tantrums and doesn't want anyone. So we just completely stopped going. Not only that, but I stopped getting told about family parties, which is fine. But if I were to find out that there was a family party, I would find out literally the day of, an hour before it's supposed to start. Most of the time, I was working. And I would get yelled at. Why didn't you know about this party? What do you mean, no one tells me? That's what would happen. And I'd be like, well, I'm working. Well, can't you get it off? No, I'm working. I'm in the middle of work. Like, I'm on a break right now. I can't just be like, oh yeah, someone needs to take the rest of my shift. They're not going to let that happen. That is the backstory. So
So, two weeks ago, I told my parents I wasn't going to the 4th of July party. We were trying to still figure out stuff with Riker's work. Not only that, but we were considering going to Montana for the 4th of July. We would have left the 1st. And to go to Montana. Which means, and then we would be gone until the 7th. So we would technically leave the 7th. I don't know if we'd get back the 7th. We might, we might have gotten back on like the 8th, if that makes sense. But we would have been in Montana for a whole week. So there was no way we were going to go. Well, we ended up having to stay because they kept pushing back Riker's start date. Which made it so we didn't have the money. Which is okay. I'm a little sad about not being able to go, but there's nothing that I can do about that. In the first six months of me and Riker dating, we started dating in 2018. By the end of us dating for six months, Riker had met my entire family. My mom's side, my dad's, my stepdad's side, all of that. Because we went to extended family stuff and fam and immediate family stuff. I, me and Riker have been together for three years. On the 30th of this month, we will be married for six months. I still have not met his entire family. Because my parents throw hissy fits anytime we try to hang out with his family. And I mean for anything. Like, they just want to see Becky because they haven't seen her in two months, and my parents throw a fit. They're always doing stuff with Riker's family. Except we're not, because we have stuff at home that we're doing. Like, I'm, I'm inside all the time. All the time. I am home constantly. And I don't have money to do anything. At least with Riker's parents, when they have a party, there are sodas, alcohol, beer, food. You know, like, and it's fun. With my family, it's who can insult the most. Constantly making snarky comments. Telling me I look fat. And I'm not skinny enough. Why would I want to go to that? They're constantly bringing me down. I got a text yesterday at 10 a.m. from my mom asking if we were going. Mind you, the party is at 2 o'clock of him. I in almost immediately said no to my mom. I just happened to have my phone when she texted me. About two minutes or less, I'm pretty certain it was less, about a minute, I got a phone call from my stepdad asking if we were going to the party. I said no. And he started yelling. Why the fuck not? You're constantly, you're doing stuff with Riker's family all the fucking time. And I go, um, first off, no, we're not. The last time we did something with Riker's family was the three day trip for the memorial, which was a week ago, a month ago, sorry, a month ago. We don't do anything with his family. His family is gone at the moment, in Montana. We were supposed to be on that trip, but there's nothing I can do about that. I, hmm, I said, we're not going. 
because I don't like how I'm treated. Becky would also go if I was working or I didn't want to go. There were some parties that Becky went to without me. The issue with that that we had, Becky would come back with a nasty attitude, constantly demanding everything. If we told her no, which she's used to, she would throw an even bigger tantrum. Start throwing stuff, start hitting, it got bad. So she stopped going as well without me. I don't want to deal with my toddler like that. <laughs> now, she had just gone down for her nap. Literally. At 10 o'clock. We have been having some issues the past week with her sleeping. She hasn't wanted to sleep. Not for her naps. Not for bedtime. So, we switched her schedule up. She wakes up at 6 a.m. Now you'd think going to bed at 11 that she would want to go down because she's tired. But she sleeps until almost 4 because it takes an hour to get her down for bed for nap time. And then she wakes up at 4, wants lunch, and then I make dinner two hours later and she doesn't want to eat. So... We changed her schedule. She still wakes up at 6 a.m. I make breakfast. She plays for a few hours. At 9 o'clock, she gets a little snack. 9.30, it's time to put her down. And she normally, lately, has been going down for her naps without a fight. She'll just go, okay, mommy. She'll lay down. Sometimes she'll scream within the first 10 minutes. So, like, like, when the 10-minute mark hits that she's been laying down, she just starts to get fussy. And then I go in there. Most of the time, her sippy cup is empty. So I go and fill it up. And then she goes down. By, like, 9.30, 9.40, which isn't bad. She then sleeps until about 2. The longest she'll sleep to is until 2. She then will wake up. She'll want lunch. Great. It's actually lunchtime when she's eating it. She gets lunch. She plays for a few hours. She gets a snack at around 4. I make dinner. Well, 4 or 5 is when she gets the snack. I make dinner around 7. 7.30 lately, we eat, we go on a walk, she plays for another hour, we get a nighttime show for her to wind down at around 9, and she's normally asleep by 9.45. So obviously, the schedule has been working for her. At that point, at 10 o'clock, Riker was already at work. So, you know, great excuse. Riker's at work, the car seat's in the car, right? And Becky's asleep. And I go, well, I'm not going because, first of all, I don't like how I'm treated. And he goes, what do you mean? And I was like, I get glared at. I get ignored. I get whispered about I get looked at like I'm a bad mom. He goes, no the fuck you don't. And I go, yeah, I do. And he goes, no, you don't. And I go, you don't notice? Because at the parties, you're constantly helping your family with stuff. You're never in the same room long enough. So you wouldn't know. It's me that it's happening to. And I'm like, plus... Becky throws a tantrum the entire time. I really don't want to deal with a no-sleep child. 
or a child, a, a toddler that hasn't gotten much sleep for the sixth day in a row. Really, I don't. I'm tired. I have stuff I have to do as well. And I was like, plus, Riker's at work. Well, you guys can ride with us. Um, we don't have her car seat. Are you willing to just go buy a car seat? Those are expensive. You don't have the money for that. Like, no. I don't want to go. I seriously just don't want to go either. I don't. What the fuck ever? I'm like, he said a lot of other hurtful things to me as well. That I'm not going to put in here just for that sake. I... He made me feel so small. And like a bad parent. Well, then I even was like, plus Becky's sleeping. And he goes, at fucking 10 o'clock? Who takes a nap at 10 o'clock? And I was like, um, a two-year-old toddler. Who's tired? Who wakes up at 6 a.m.? She needs naps during the day. When she has them, I don't care. As long as she sleeps. I then got yelled at more, criticized, a whole bunch of other stuff, and I just was like, I don't want to go, Becky's sleeping, her car seat's in the car, and Riker's not here, and he goes, well, we're leaving at noon. Okay, <laughs> the way he said it made me feel like he was going to come banging on my door at 11.50 and drag me out of the house. Just to go to the stupid party. Like, I had no option. Like, I had no choice in the matter. That's literally how he said it. And he goes, well, we leave at noon, so let me know if Becky can come. And I was like, I will, if she's awake, knowing full well that she's not going to. <laughs> she's going to sleep. <laughs> At 12.15, I texted my mom. Becky is still asleep. Because she was. She didn't wake up until 1.40. Yeah. She was still asleep. And I'm not lying about that. She really was. She wanted her nap. She even was the one who told me, nap time, nap time. And I was like, yeah, you can take a nap. She went down within 10 minutes of laying down. So that tells me my child was tired and growing. Probably. If she's that tired telling me that she wants a nap, she's obviously growing. Or teething, and she just wants to sleep through the pain. I'd given her medicine before she went to bed, knowing full well that she's teething. She's getting three teeth in right now, at the same time. Two on the top, one on the bottom, and then she only has one more tooth to go. The medicine probably helped tame down the pain so that she could fall asleep within the first ten minutes. I then got a message at 12.35. I figured, I assumed she wasn't going to go. Plus, we're already here. It's just me, your dad, and Tyler, which is my little brother. Now, because my 14-year-old brother lives with my parents, he gets to hear all the stuff they say about us. They tell, or at least he hears when they're talking, some pretty nasty stuff about me and my husband. They hate my husband. Even though 
he's the only one working and I don't have to work because his job pays the bills. I'm doing what I love. I am taking care of the apartment, my daughter, and doing YouTube. Which is another thing they hate. They don't, they hate that I'm doing YouTube. Which, fine for me, they can go fuck themselves for all I care. They have even gone as far as to tell my little brother that if you guys didn't know, we, me and my parents live in the same apartment building, just on opposite sides. They live on the front side, we live on the back side, which makes it very hard to get away from them. Now, because they know where we live, it can get scary at times, especially for this fact. They even went as far as to tell my little brother that they don't want us to move from this apartment building because they're worried that we're going to abuse our child. I don't even yell at my kids. I have been yelled at and screamed at my entire life because that's how my parents work. I make sandwiches a certain way because if I didn't make it perfect for my stepdad, I would get yelled at, cussed at, and hit. So I don't yell at my kid because it brings out PTSD in me. I try to be as kind and sweet to my daughter as possible so that she knows that it's not okay to be treated like that because it's not. I have so many mental things wrong with me. I'm 21 years old. And because of how my dad would react when I would make him a sandwich if it wasn't perfect, yeah, I would cry. But I'm 21, and every time I make a sandwich for my husband, I make sure that it's good and how he wanted it. Because if he says no, I start shaking and getting fear that I'm going to get hit because it wasn't good. My husband always loves my sandwiches, so it saves me from having a PTSD moment. But while I wait for him to say yes or no, I'm literally freaking out inside. That's not okay. I don't yell at my kid. I don't want her to feel the same way. My parents are toxic. I would love to tell them off and tell them that they're toxic and how they make me feel. But they have threatened to take my child away from me and to call the cops. On me, their own child, when I'm not even doing anything wrong. We are planning to move in November. They will not know my address. That's how done with it I am. Do I really want to wait until November to say something to them about this? No. But, and again, they know where I live. They could easily call the cops on us. And I would have to fight. Which isn't okay. I am 21 years old. I am married and have a kid. I live in my own apartment. If I ignore their messages or their phone calls, they come up randomly without telling me and they use the excuse of it's just to see my daughter I have to go over there once a week in order not to get yelled at even though I have stuff I'm doing there may be days where my husband's off and we're out running errands I shouldn't have to feel like this 
because of my parents. In between telling my mom that she was still sleeping and after that phone call ended, I cried for an hour and a half. And I mean sobbing. Like a river or a stream of tears streaming down my face constantly for an hour and a half. I called my husband hyperventilating. He had to leave work early because of it. Do I feel bad that he had to leave work? Yeah. But that's how my parents make me feel. All the time. I have tried calling DCFS on them. Like when I moved out, it's not going to do anything. When we move, we are hoping <clears throat> to be in a house <clears throat> closer to Riker's work so that he doesn't have to drive as far. Now, if we can't get a house, that's okay. <laughs> I am hoping that with Riker's job, I know it'll be more that, that we have to pay for, but <clears throat> it would be a lot more room. We've already found a couple of houses that we really like. <clears throat> Since my family doesn't watch my YouTube videos, or at least my parents don't, I don't know if I will be disclosing there which city we live in. I will still just state that we live in Utah. <laughs> but if we can't find a house, that's okay. We'll just find like a three bedroom apartment, maybe a condo or townhouse. Something a little bit better. We will. I will most. I don't want to do it in a letter. But at the same time, I don't want to flat out just, I want to do it in person. But at the same time, I fear for my life, literally. I plan on doing it the day we move. Or the day after we have moved everything into our apartment. So that... Someone can watch our daughter, and me and Riker can go sit them down and talk to them. I will not be giving them our new address when we move. I don't feel safe in my own apartment, and I want to feel safe. <clears throat> At least more safe than what I feel right now. If my parent, if they continue to push those boundaries, I will be blocking them on everything and cutting them out of my life. Nobody will hear from me. I'm not even, I'm not even going to give my siblings my address because they will tell my parents. And I don't want that happening. If they want to see my daughter, we will go out to lunch, or dinner, or breakfast, whatever you need it, whatever time they're coming down at. And I will make sure to plan our meal and Becky's nap around it. Or meet up at a park somewhere not near my house. If I have to cut them out completely, I will. Am I ready for that? No. I want my daughter to know both of her and parents. But if my parents keep acting the way that they do, <clears throat> I will constantly be fearing for my life and my daughter. And that's not okay. I am 
doing okay today. Yesterday, I was in a funk all day. I'm still obviously really emotional about it. But it's because it's still fresh in my mind. I shouldn't have to feel like this. My parents shouldn't be making me feel like this. Today is going to be a good day. And if it's not, that's okay. There are better days ahead. Really. Sorry for the long rant. This video might be broken up into two. <laughs> or at least I will keep the other stuff down to a minimum. Until I talk about the exciting news, then I have it. If you want to know or learn about the exciting thing first before it comes out on Saturday, then follow me on Instagram. I'm just going to post this. I will end this vlog today and edit it today and post it tomorrow. That way it gives people time to follow me on Instagram so that they can see the exciting news there first. I will talk about it on here, but if you're really interested to know what it is, I will make um, a few posts that day um, about the exciting thing because it'll mainly be on Instagram, but I wanted to share it here too because you guys are getting the code and that's all I'm going to say. So if you want to see it first and know the exciting news before um, the next video comes out on Saturday. <clears throat> Be sure to follow my Instagram. I do have two. The one that is doing the exciting news is my Steffi Wren 03 <clears throat> and I will I'll put <clears throat> watch out for those exciting news I will try to get her playing with some puppets and some pictures of fireworks tonight and then I will finish editing and upload it tomorrow Way to go! Keep throwing them. Throw it. Throw it. Oh. Throw it, baby. Throw it. 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 Throw
be. Oh, I'm going to throw it. Okay. Woohoo! Want me to throw one? Ready? Throw it as hard as you can. Turn. Mm -hmm. 